everyone this is Ekatna here so in this video we are going to find the total surface area of a pipe okay from mensuration problem the external diameter of a cylindrical shaped iron pipe is 25 centimeter and its length is 20 centimeter if the thickness of the pipe is 1 centimeter Find the total surface area of the pipe. Okay. So we are given an iron pipe. So let's consider an iron pipe. Okay. So we are given the external diameter of a cylindrical shaped iron pipe is 25 centimeter. So external diameter solution. The external diameter of a cylindrical cylindrical shaped Iron pipe is 25 centimeters. If this is a outer iron pipe, outer surface of the iron pipe, if you consider the base, then this will be the external diameter. We can name it as capital D. Which is equals to 25 centimeters. That is capital D equals to 25 centimeters. And its length is 5, so not 15, 20 centimeters. Length in the sense, height is 20 centimeters. If the thickness of the pipe is 1 centimeter, the thickness of the pipe is thickness is 1 centimeter. Then we have to find the total surface area of the pipe. Okay, since we are having D equals to 25 centimeters, we know that diameter equals to 2 times the radius. So this becomes 2 into capital R equals to. 25 centimeters from this you'll get capital R equals to 25 centimeters by 2. 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 fives are 10. So this equals to 12.5 centimeters so therefore capital R equals to 12.5 centimeters therefore capital R equals to 12.5 centimeters okay fine and also given Length is 20 centimeters, that is length in the sense the height h equals to 20 centimeters. Okay, and also given that thickness, thickness equals to 1 centimeter. So, capital R minus small r will be a thickness. Capital R minus small r equals to 1 centimeter. So, this is thickness, right? If you subtract capital R or if you subtract small r from capital R, small r from capital R, then you'll get the thickness. See? Suppose this is a Capital R, if you will subtract 
small r from this capital R, you will get the thickness. Okay. Fine. You are having capital R equals to 12.5 centimeter minus small r equals to 1 centimeter. From this, you will get 12.5 centimeter minus 1 centimeter equals to R. I'm just taking this R to right hand side and taking this 1 centimeter to left hand side. So 12.5 minus 1 will be 11.5. So from this you'll get 11.5 centimeter equals to small r. So therefore r equals to small r equals to 11.5 centimeter. Okay. Small r equals to 11.5 centimeter. Next, we need to find the total surface area of the pipe. Okay. So, we know that TA equals to CSA that is 2 pi H into capital R plus small r plus 2 pi capital R square minus 2 pi small r square or Take 2 into pi capital R square minus pi R square. So you will have base and circle lengths. Consider the outer circle. Let this be an outer circle. We will remove the inner circle from the outer circle with radius r then the area so formed is an area of a base and the top okay so we are having base for base and for top the same area so we have given two This equals to 2 pi h into capital R plus small r plus 2 into take pi common from these two. So, you will get r square minus capital R square minus small r square this is of the form a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b into a minus b. Okay. So, you can write it as 2 pi h into capital R plus small r plus 2 pi into capital R plus small r into capital R minus small r. Okay. If you consider these two terms, you will be having 2 pi and capital R plus small r in these two terms. So, you can take these two common. Then you will get 2 pi into capital R plus small r into h plus capital R minus small r square units. So, this is a formula. Okay. See, instead of using the formula directly, you can derive from the figure. That will be easy and you will not make any mistake. Into H plus R minus R square units. This is equals to 2 into 22 by 7 into capital R is 12.5 centimeter plus small r 11.5 centimeter into H. 20 centimeter plus capital R 
12.5 cm minus small r 11.5 cm. Okay. So this equals to 2 into 22 by 7 into 12.5 cm plus 15.5. So 11.5 cm. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. So 24. Okay. 24 centimeter into 12.5 minus 11.5 will be 0, 1. So 1. 20 centimeter plus 1 centimeter. 20 plus 1 is 21. So this equals to 21 centimeter. Okay. Sun 1, sun 3 is 21. 2 into 22 is 44. Into 24 into 3 centimeter into centimeter centimeter square. Okay. Let's multiply 24 into 3. 3 4 is 12. 3 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 7. 44 into 72 centimeter square. 44 into 72. 2 4 is 8. 2 4 is 8. 7 4 is 28, 7 4s are 28, 28 plus 2 is 30, 8 plus 8 is 16, so finally you get 3168 cm square, okay, therefore Total surface area of the pipe therefore the total surface area of the pipe is Three thousand one hundred and sixty eight centimeters square. Okay, this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from hollow cylinder. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.